Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at a few different ways to support a mast like this when we're in the field. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Most of the time when I head out, I'm usually going to carry a fiberglass mask such as this. It just makes life easy. Do we absolutely need this? Well, oftentimes, no, we don't. We can use a tree maybe to support our antenna or something else. Uh, but often we'll find ourselves in situations where we can't use a tree uh, for an antenna support. Uh, maybe we're in an open field where there are no trees. Maybe we're in a state park where they frown upon anything being thrown up into the trees. So sometimes we do need a portable mast such as this one. And if we're going to use one of these masts, then we got to figure out a way to support it. Now there's lots of different ways to do this, and this is by no means an exhaustive uh, list. This is just a handful of ways that I've come up with to support a mast like this. So one of the simplest ways that you can support a mast like that is a simple T-post. I picked this thing up at Tractor Supply. It's just a small one, uh, but it was fairly lightweight. And I think I gave like maybe four bucks for it, three bucks, something like that. Uh, but we can just drive this into the ground and then use a couple of bungee cords, ball bungees or something along those lines to mate the two of these together. If you get a ball bungee on the bottom, and one on the top, it'll typically support this mass with no trouble. Now, one problem that we do run into is ground like I'm on today. Uh, it may look like a little bit of dirt on top, but it's pretty much a solid bed of rock just a couple of inches down. Something like this is not gonna work for us. Now, this is a piece that I homebrewed at one time, and it's designed to go in the receiver of a vehicle in place of a trailer hitch, and it works well. It's pretty heavy, though, and it doesn't pack around very easy. But you can simply insert this into the trailer hitch and drop your mask right down inside of it. Now we've got a super stable support to hold on to our mast. Now, there are also some commercial mass supports available, such as this one by TN07, and it's pretty clever in its design. Uh, it's designed to work with their matching devices so that it can slide through the bottom here and then the mast come through the top. And you can use these in a couple of uh, different ways. This mass support can also be moved out to the very end. We can set that on the ground and then drive up onto the mount. It makes it super quick for getting your mast deployed. Now, one of the ways that I've seen guys do this is they'll take a hose clamp and put it around their mast. And with that hose clamp, they'll use a couple of rings and then they'll attach some paracord or something similar to those rings. Then they can guide that out using some tent stakes. So that might be an option for you as well. Now, I am constantly trying to rethink the way I do things. If I can shrink my pack a little bit or shave a little bit of weight off of it or take up a little bit less room in the vehicle, then I'm all for it. So lately, I've just taken a small piece of pipe and fit it into my winch. And then the way the cable wraps back and hooks into the Jeep bumper, it keeps it there on a regular basis. In fact, most of the time, I don't even take it off. That makes it super quick and easy just to get out and drop the mast right into that piece of pipe to support it. So there you have it, guys. There's a few different ways that you might want to support your mask when you're out and working portable. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.